Guys, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry, we are not breaking up just in case you guys always wonder that when we say that we have bad news, we are breaking <laughs> up. No, we are not. But yeah, we really have a bad news to tell you guys, although I sound really excited and happy, but really we have a really, really bad news to tell you guys and that happened yesterday to us. But today, we are going to solo, try and solo, Tapu Bulu because it's the new Red Boss. Alright, so hi hi to all of you guys. Hi guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring my screen up. I'm going to tell you guys that right now it is cloudy in-game, which means we got our Poison-type Pokemon boosted and we got a Tapu Bulu over there. Actually, for the last one hour-ish, there were no eggs at all and then uh, eventually uh, these two came out. Awesome. And uh, it's just next to our accommodation. You guys want to know where we are? We did say in the last two videos that we were supposed to catch our flight to Cambodia, right, Bay? Yes, that's right. But where are we right now? We are still in <laughs> Jeju! Jeju! <laughs> you guys want to know why? Well, I'll tell you guys why. So Jeju is an island here in South Korea. And the reason why we are still here was because uh, we couldn't catch our flight to Shanghai, which we were supposed to. And then we were supposed to catch our flight to Cambodia, to Siam Reap over That's here. All the way there. Yeah. <laughs> was supposed to be like a two hours flight to Shanghai and then a four and a half hour stop over in Shanghai and then after that another uh, three hours and 15 minutes flight to Cambodia however like I said we are still here well we are going to go ahead to tell you that, that uh, along the way but let's go ahead into the red lobby first okay. I'm going to create a private lobby just in case other people join and okay. uh, you know screw it up and uh, if you guys are wondering where's my free pass I used it on the red over here it was a snap boo just now mm -hmm. all right I'm going to create mm -hmm. the code and it's oh, PP. yeah pg meowth and ratata yeah. all right so i'm gonna show you guys the team that i'll be using i'll be using this and she'll be using just one mega b drill to boost me because mm -hmm. i remember last year when we were still in coaching with hing hing and his friends hing hing asked me to do a solo on the tapu bulu and i failed it <laughs> but it's okay today is redemption because we have our mega boost this time and also upgraded our team with uh, Nihiligo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I need to power out my uh, victory bell. Hang on, hang on. Okay, uh, back out first, babe. I'm so okay, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I'm, I need to do this, seriously. So, I remember that time I did not have enough XL candy to power up the victory bell. This time round, I'm going to max out all the victory bells that I'm going to use. So, it's going to be this Tando that I've already maxed up. Wow. It's going to be this one that I'm also going to max out. It's still level 40. This three others or so. Alright, so we're going to power this one up to level 50 right now. Let's go. Alright, making sure you don't, don't purify them. And yeah, seriously guys, we are still in Korea. Yesterday when we weren't able to catch our flight, I was even telling her, I can't believe we are still back here in Jeju in uh, South Korea. It's the first time for me that I'm not able to catch the flight. I have to spend another extra night here. In fact, we may not be spending just one extra night here because we may spend a few more nights here mm -hmm. as uh, the flight's uh, schedule for the next few days ain't too good. So, well, if you guys are wondering what happened, let me go ahead to uh, enter the red lobby, create a code, and let her enter it. It's still oh, the same code. Alright. And I'll tell you guys what happened. So, yesterday, when we went to the airport in the morning, we actually arrived very early. We arrived yeah. three hours before our flight. We were so punctual. Usually, we'll arrive two hours, but we <laughs> wanted to make things uh, absolutely sure for us that we do not, uh, you know, arrive to the airport really yeah. late because we were at the down south of the, the island. And in order to get to the airport, it's roughly a two hours bus ride to get yeah, there. two hours. Yeah, so we wanted to make sure that we get there on time, making sure no nothing screws up because the bus interval is once every 30 minutes and the bus came slightly early and managed to take that, that particular one. So eventually, when uh, it was time for us to actually check in, we went to the, the, the check-in counter for our airlines, China Eastern Airlines. And uh, when we were queuing up halfway, everything seemed alright and it was towards like almost towards our turn. There was actually another guy ahead of us. I think yeah. he's from uh, uh, he's American, right? I think he is American. Yeah. So he was asked by the staff to provide a PCR test Result. results <laughs> to be able to transit in China. And yeah. he went ballistic. Literally, he went. He became so frustrated that he was like arguing and swearing and cursing. And we were just behind watching the whole situation. We were wondering to ourselves, 
we does it mean that we also need PCR test because we weren't sure we weren't sure whether we needed PCR test when we transit in China so that guy in front of us he actually went on to say and told the staff that just three days ago he actually flew from Cambodia to Shanghai to Jeju the opposite route yeah doing a transit without a PCR test so he was very very puzzled why he couldn't fly back he literally he was really shouting and cursing and swearing and his flight was actually paid for by his company so it was basically a business or a job trip but for us you know we travel wherever and whenever we want so we have uh, the luxury of time on our hands more than someone like him so he had to get back to his wherever place mm, you know more urgently than us so eventually for us when it was our turn Okay, let's just show you guys how we're gonna enter. Okay, she's not tapping at all, right, babe? Yeah, so okay. not tapping. So, okay, she's, she's not tapping at all. I'm gonna have to focus a bit, but I'll make sure I'll tap the correct charge <laughs> move and not tap the wrong charge move. You have to re-lobby whenever you're able to, yeah, babe? Yes. Alright, so back to the story. Okay, solar beam, that is uh, kind of mm. okay, right? Is that, I, I do not know. I mean, our victory bell will resist that also. Alright, but one solar beam actually does so much damage to our mega B drill, but it's okay. So anyway, back to the story. So eventually, I'm, I'm not even going to uh, dodge at all. I'm just going to continue to tap. Eventually, when it was our turn, the staff told us that we needed to provide a PCR test. So I even went online to sh check to see that if we require a PCR test. But according to the embassy website from Singapore, they were saying that to enter China, you will need either a PCR test or ART test, which then we thought, wait, why don't we go ahead to buy an ART test kit right now and do an ART test because you, the results will be out in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. But then the guy told us that that particular website is from Singapore and yeah. they don't follow that rule. So we were not allowed to actually uh, do that. And in fact, I did ask him where can we buy an ART test kit. So he said there's no uh, place selling it. And I asked him if there's anybody here in the airport who sells it from the staff of us. I was willing to buy it from them. Yeah. We have one actually. Yeah, we had yeah. one piece left. But it wasn't enough for the both of us. But it's okay. You have to re-lobby again, babe. Yep. So the thing was, when uh, when uh, I asked him where is the PCR test center, though, he said there was one just a uh, like ten minutes walk away from the airport. We needed to go there and do the PCR test. But the results will only be out five hours. in five hours. Yeah. So with that in mind, we were like, okay, this is not good that we couldn't fly. So eventually, um, we uh, gave up the hope of uh, being able to fly. We didn't uh, argue or whatsoever with the staff or anything or we just literally gave up mm -hmm. and uh, when we went uh, to sit down and i think what were our options um the next flight to actually fly to cambodia was scheduled three days later on the 19th of april so in order to fly on the 19th of april uh, we still would have to take the same route to fly to shanghai china and then fly to cambodia then uh, we were t telling ourselves we still have to do the PCR test which then the PCR test would cost around a hundred thousand uh, won per person which essentially is around 75 USD per person but the time taken to actually do all that and to actually uh, still fly to Cambodia doesn't make sense to us so the second option of course some of you guys will be saying why don't we take another flight of course there were other flights there were other options to fly to either another country which will cost double or triple the price and the time taken to get there would also be double or triple which did not make sense also the third option is to fly to Seoul the capital of South Korea and do a transit over there but the big problem about that particular option is we have to do a change a transit from yeah. one airport Incheon airport to Gimpo airport to catch our flight from Gimpo or to um, okay all my mons are dead I need to re-lobby now please okay, don't faint okay <laughs> okay Please don't I'm looking at her okay. Mega Bill Drew is still surviving. It probably yeah. can survive one more uh, so. one more solar beam. Alright, we're back in. Okay, so um, when we actually wanted to uh, take our third option, the third option was to fly to uh, South Korea, right? Then fly away from, fly from Kimpo. But the problem was because she having a Filipino passport, she does not have a visa for South Korea. The yeah. thing is for us to be able to come to Jeju and another northeastern part of um, of South Korea, she can do that for 30 days visa free. But if she wants to go to like Seoul or in fact where the places that we were at a few months ago like Daegu, Gwangju, Busan, etc. She will need a visa to enter. So if we were to do a transit from one airport to another airport in Seoul, it was not going to happen because she would need a visa. I can actually enter South Korea uh, basically anytime I want with the Singapore visa. That's the luxury of it also. But Eventually, that option wasn't uh, possible at all, 
and we actually did not go with that. Okay, I'm tapping the wrong move, Brandon. Stop it. You stop rock sliding, okay? Rock slide wouldn't do super effective damage to Tapu Bulu at all. But anyway, the time seems really good. And uh, right now, I'm very happy that I'm, I'm actually finally able to do this. See, Heng Heng <laughs> can finally solo the Tapu Bulu, okay? Aha! Last sludge bomb! Boom! Yay! Yes, good. We did it. Finally. So, um... Eventually, um, we came up with a few um, options. We actually went around to see if we could fly to other countries. There were other options to fly to other countries instead of uh, going to Cambodia. We could actually go to like Singapore, direct flight to Singapore, mm. direct flight to Taiwan, direct flight to Malaysia. The relieving part is the fact that she does not need to leave Jeju like urgently because if we are only having a like say 14 days or 12 days visa entry, we have been here in Jeju for 11 days. So today is day 12. So we have to get out of the country really, really quickly. But then I told her, say, since you know you have 30 days here and I have 90 days here in Jeju, I'm, we might as well just spend like a few more days here. So hence, we have decided that we spend a few more days yeah. here in Jeju. Uh, we ain't sure yet when we are going to fly out because uh, if we were to fly out today, today, Tapu Bulu being a new raid boss, it will affect me making content. If we were to fly out on Tuesday, it will also affect uh, us making content for Spotlight Hour if we need to, but it was it's going to be trapping Spotlight Hour, which is not going to be that enticing. So we could possibly fly, fly out on the 18th, but the, the next scheduled flight to Cambodia is on the 19th, which is on a raid hour day. And mm -hmm. it will affect raid hour because by the time we arrive to Cambodia, it's going to be 10 p.m. In Shanghai, there's no way you can play Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Go. So <laughs> hence, raid hour will be totally affected and we do not want that to happen also. So I told her, the best time to fly is probably after the 19th, 20th onwards. 20th is a Thursday and hence why we try and make our travels, do our travels or moving of house from one accommodation to another accommodation on a Monday on or Thursday because those are the days usually Pokemon Go wouldn't have any activities other than today which is quite surprising to see Tapu Bulu as the new raid boss. <laughs> yeah. So other than that though, um, of course we have other options which we could fly to other countries to like Bangkok, Thailand and uh, to Vietnam. Vietnam and wherever but we do not want to go back to a place that we have been to recently. recently but we are considering to go to Bangkok because we were there like a few months ago maybe eight or nine months ago right yeah. so that's last year already so last we decided that we July. could go there yeah. so initially our plan was to go to Cambodia stay there till 26th of April basically 10 days and then fly to Bangkok and stay there for a couple of weeks fortunately unfortunately that uh, <laughs> plan is kind of uh, you know affected by our trip by our flight not being able to you know happen to Shanghai I guess another thing I forgot to mention to you guys though yesterday's grind for me despite the fact that we couldn't fly was pretty good I'm gonna show you guys what I got yesterday it's pretty insane I'm gonna show you guys the shinies <laughs> I got myself a total of four shiny the Wishmer yeah. all right the lady bar the Gligar which was hatched and then an executor from the few research well, that's not all. I got myself two Hundos or so. One was the Hundo Rouse, that's what Gold Blast. And then I hashed myself a Hundo Real Loop. That's all. But that was the really, bi really big bad news for us. And, um, you know, in terms of like bookings for accommodation and flight, everything, we have really booked everything. We have booked our flight from here, of course, to uh, Cambodia. From Cambodia, we were going to fly from Long Pen to Bangkok. Everything was booked for, mm. all right? And those two flights cannot be refunded. So we had to burn away like close to 400 USD for that. <laughs> but if you talk about accommodation, um, accommodation wise, we have already booked entire accommodation from Cambodia for the next 10 nights. And uh, we were thinking to book for our accommodation for Bangkok, but we now don't have to. Uh, and we were able to luckily get a refund for our second part of uh, Cambodia's accommodation. But the first part, the one that's supposed to be in Siam Reap from 16th to 21st of April, um, it was really non-cancellable. But fortunately, um, I was able to call Agoda and Agoda was really, really kind enough. They were actually uh, helping us out so much. They actually caught up the uh, accommodation, accommodation, the property mm -hmm. and uh, negotiated with them. Eventually, the property agreed to actually uh, give us the refund back. Yeah. So I told her next time we go back to Siam Reap, which we still could possibly go to, mm -hmm. to Cambodia, if we actually still continue with the Shanghai route, which we are still deciding, <laughs> we would actually book the same accommodation. That's for sure. All right, and uh, I think that is all that we have to talk to them about. What do you think, Bay? How how were you feeling yesterday? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yesterday. Um. Of course, I was sad because we had to miss the flight. But she was also but happy because she side... told me she could stay in Jeju longer. <laughs> yes, of course. It's Jeju Island. It's South Korea, and I love it here. Hmm. So it's not really like something that I would have to be. Like, 
or that I would feel bad about it. But yeah, it's South Korea. For me, for me, why I felt really, really stressed up. I think that was For one of the sure. most stressed up period I've ever felt in a long time. But of course, the one that was even more stressful was the remote rate uh, changes. That was way more stressful than yesterday. So yesterday I was pretty, 100%. pretty cool already. I was pretty calm about it. But uh, all in all, um, the thing was for me because I knew that we were gonna go to China. In fact, when we're on the flight, we can't play Pokemon Go at all. <clears throat> Normally, I'll do everything beforehand: open gift, send gift, swap buddy, and Mega your Pokemon. These are the four things that I always do every single day without fail. So I send out my hundred gifts. I actually went to the Seven Eleven, the, the convenience store after twelve a.m. after the community day to go there and edit up to two a.m. Yeah. because there were five Poke stops there to send out all my gifts. That was the night before a flight, right? Yeah, so I also opened up all my gifts from my friends already for that day. I in fact also did the trade cap for the both of us. Yeah, right, we did like trade cap. For the day. <laughs> yeah, I did the trade cap, and then uh, eventually uh, I also uh, um, did my twenty body swap. The worst one is the twenty body swap because uh, when I realized that we couldn't catch the flight, I'm like, oh my god! So now I have to stick to this one particular Pokemon for the entire day, and I can't swap my body anymore. My Toga kiss received twenty five mm -hmm. hearts. <laughs> and I couldn't swap to another Pokemon at all. That was quite hard pain to see. But it was okay. Eventually, uh, when we actually came back to, to um, the city here, we were even scrambling to look for accommodations. We had to go from one accommodation to another because the accommodation that we were trying to book uh, wasn't available. And then uh, eventually, we went to the counter and it wasn't... They, they no weren't, was they weren't, there. There, were no, there yeah. were nobody there. And eventually, we came to this particular part of uh, Jeju City, which seems to be quite good, especially there are a lot of uh, gyms and Pokestops around here, which is great. But um, of course, we wanted to explore somewhere different also, and hence why we are here also. And uh, other than that though, um, it's been a stressful day yesterday, um, but I'm still trying to keep up with the videos, video uploads and whatsoever. Uh, hopefully you guys wouldn't mind a content like this today, that I did this solo on Tapu Bulu, but it was fun to have been able to do this successfully right now. Tomorrow will be another video on Tapu Bulu, where we do 20 Tapu Bulu rates as usual. We're going to head on out right now to start our grind. Although it would be nicer if we did it in Cambodia. <laughs> yeah, we were hoping that Cambodia wouldn't have a lot of gyms and we will show you guys how we actually play Pokemon Go in a rather rural place and still be able to make content out of it, which is the struggle that we definitely will face in the future, especially since remote rate uh, has been limited and we are definitely affected by it also. Alright, so that is all from us. Hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed this video and also gotten a better understanding in terms of how our travel situation has been for us, especially yesterday. It was really, really stressful yeah, for the okay. both of us. Lesson learned. Yeah, we actually learned, uh, learned something yeah. from the whole experience yesterday. We literally learned a lot from yesterday's experience. Uh, one thing is don't be too complacent. As, uh, definitely check on things before you actually fly out. Even if it's just a transit, definitely check on all true, the rules true. and whatsoever. Mm. Um, other than that though, it's going to be a fun uh, few more days here in South Korea. Yay! Oh yes. We'll make the most out of it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to eat more... Uh, Orange. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, pork. Group pork. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Bye.